PS5 Digital Edition. Let me show you what's going on. We have quite a mess. Another fan connector fell victim. In fairness, it seems like these things are really easy to pull off the port. Even experienced techs are doing it. So that's going to be our job today. For your orientation purposes, we'll be working on this side of the board in this area near the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module. First thing we need to do is clean some of this off. If you ever ripped it off, made an attempt to repair it, judging by the flux. Looks like we have actually one pad that's still there. One pad's better than no pads. I think this is salvageable. We will have to secure it down with solder mask. It should be okay. Which means we need to run this one and this one and our two anchors. In order to prep that, we're going to grab our handy dandy grinding pin and do some scratching. In area to put the solder in. Okay, what I want to do here is clean up this area a little bit. It uh, looks like some people got some solder there. I'm probably going to want to isolate that area from the via and the wire that I'm going to have to run there. So we may go ahead and cure that up real quick. Uh, in order to do that, I'm going to need my equipment. And while I set up my equipment, let me throw my expected temperatures for this job. These temperatures are brought to you by the associate links in the description. If you go to my video description and click on one of these links and buy any of this equipment, a small portion of that purchase will go to supporting the channel. And I greatly appreciate you. It won't cost you an extra dime. Grab my iron and see if we can get whatever it is here up. I may need the big chisel for this guy. So I have the via highlighted with a target here on your screen. This via is isolated and that outer area with the uh, solder the silver area that is ground we do not want those making contact so we're going to have to cover that ground so that when i run the jumper there's no threat of it contacting with the jumper and shorting that line to ground this is a little different i'm usually not pulling out the uv solder mask this early into the process but it is necessary because when i run the jumper i'm going to run it long and then I want to secure that down under another layer of UV solder mask. I'm going to step away and let that cure for a few minutes and we'll be back. That should be well cured. It's a pretty thin layer I put on there. Now we need to tin up our new solder pads so that we can actually put new solder pads on. And we're going to continue with the tweak version of our method. First we need to measure out some pads. This will be the two anchors. So I'm going to make that wide enough. And Cut it in half. And there, and there. So just like the last one, which is actually earlier today, as of this recording, we're gonna pre-tin our pad. Make a nice even coating on it. Flip it over. And be very careful not to make contact with this area. Those are two different signals. One ground. Adhesive works against you sometimes. We are not using copper tape for the adhesive. And I think this ends up being so much more solid. I like it. Next one. Add the flux. Some solder. And the tin up add. Flip it over. Our typical fight with the adhesive, get it in place. All this adhesive will come off during the cleaning process. The alcohol will take care of it. Now we need one more ground. Thin, but not too thin. Kind of got an eye or cut. I think we did pretty good there. There's probably no reason to tin this whole thing. So I think we'll just tin the bottom here. Part we're going to solder. We have to make sure we put it on the right way if we're going to do that. Okay. Should be solid. Yeah, these two are sticking up. But we'll take care of that in the curing process. Now we're going to switch to our Uneasy Tweezers and Pico Pencil for our jumper work. And the first thing I want to do is tin a little bit of this wire. Burn off the enamel. Solid our wire right there on our little via. On. 
I do want it to be a little bit longer here so I can secure it down. I think we're ready for cleanup. And we will need to do that carefully and kind of in one direction. We will get the adhesive off as well as get the flux off. Both are important. Oh, sonic brush because I need any flux that's under these pads to also come out. Okay. I want this one to be a little bit long so I can wrap it around the leg. But it doesn't need to be this long. That's what I do. I think we're ready for UV solder mask. We're just going to cover this thing quite thoroughly, but right now what I want to do is tack it down so that it's held down. That way, do the rest of the work. About the only time I pull out the laser is for this process. This will not be a thorough cure, it's just enough to hold it down. Same with this one. And nothing against the laser, I'm just too impatient to sit here and hold the laser. I find it easier to put my lamp on there and walk away and let the thorough cure happen without my presence. I always feel like I need to be doing something. And watching UV solder mask cure is like watching paint dry. I can go find something better to do. Secure these down thoroughly. Don't worry about making a mess. Say it with me now. If you want pretty, don't tear your connector off the board. You may be asking yourself, why are we putting this green stuff all over it? Well, this is to hold the pads in place while we solder down the connector. When we go to put the connector on, the solder that is holding these pads to the board will wet. And if we don't secure them down, it's quite possible they'll either lift or float around. So if we put the UV solder mask on there to hold them in place, even when the solder wets, a little bit of added security. Now these anchor pads could very easily lift up to the connector and detach from the board when the solder wets. We don't want that to happen. Surface tension is a thing. It can work for you or against you. Give this one another quick tack because it has a little bit of lift to it. I don't want it to cure lifted. The UV lamp is back on there. We're going to step away for 5 or 10 or 15 minutes and just let it thoroughly cure here. We don't want a partial cure. We don't want a light cure. We need it to be rock solid. Nothing moves. We should be well cured at this point. Oh yeah. Rock solid. Excellent. We should do some scraping. A little more area to solder. But I need some area to solder on this one. Ah, oh, crud. It lifted. That is not what we wanted to happen. Now we need to re-cure that one. I don't know how you popped up. It wasn't cool. Grab a laser, tack it back down. Stick the lamp back on there and let that cure again thoroughly and we'll come back again. Hopefully we are cured in place this time. Being a little more careful with our scratching too. Just need a little of this pad to solder to. Just a tad more. That might do. Let's add some flux. Now we'll tin our pads. Nice and solid. Very nice, very nice. Next issue is we need to clean off this connector. I do have these connectors in stock, but when we can salvage the original, no need to use those. Very good. And now I have to change the angle of attack to make them lined up. Back it up a little bit. Gentleness. We want to wrap this jumper around our pin. 
say gentleness because we do not want to break the jumper. Two or three reps would be good. That'll do. Side of the jumper. Excellent. All right. That thing is rock solid, if a little bit crooked. Clean it up, come back for final inspection, and go from there. I hope you're getting value out of this video. If you find this something you're not ready to tackle just yet, just a reminder, I do offer these services both local and mail-in. Just head over to micromage.repair, click free quote, fill out the form, and I'll get back to you personally. If you mention this video, I'll give you a 10% discount on this repair. Not by any means pretty, but it'll work. Everything is solid. This connector ain't going anywhere. Let's put it back together and make sure we get fan spin. Moment of truth, fan spin. And that looks like a picture to me. Excellent. If you got value out of this video, I think you'll get value out of this one, and I'll see you there. Until then, peace, love, and sort of wind. Mm -hmm.